I wanted to put a video out on my Nexstar, uh, Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT telescope. I wanted to showcase a few of the mods I made that I think really uh, made this a better telescope, for me anyway. Um, one of the things I did, wasn't the first thing I did, but recently I've done this, is I took the red dot finder and I modified it, took the lenses out, removed the LED, and added a laser. Basically, half a laser pointer, there's a couple set screws here and here, here and here, and over here and here, that allow me to adjust major adjustments, and finer adjustments can be done with uh, these knobs. I added a bigger switch so it's easier to turn on and off at night. Uh, it's pretty bright, 20 milliwatts. You can see it pretty clear in the evening. It doesn't have to be completely dark out, and you can see the beam. It makes it great for point and stars, doing your alignment, all that. It's really, a, really easy on it. Another thing that I did was the Moto Focuser. I kind of re redid this since the video I put up on YouTube. I changed uh, changed servos. Put a relocated the infrared receiver, relocated the switch. I think I even changed battery type. So battery, this battery I've never charged in months of using it. And I kept the same controller, and it, it works great. I've been using it since the video I put up on YouTube a couple years ago or a year ago, and I've never had a problem with it. I really like it. It has a worthwhile mod. Completely reversible. Easy to undo all this and put the knob back on. So that's always good too. Um, another thing I did recently was put this Bluetooth to RF232 adapter and I glued in a DB9 connector from Radio Shack and I power it from pin 9 on the DB9 connector and then I tapped into a voltage regulator inside the the next star hand controller works really well all i gotta do is turn the telescope on start flashing it's ready to be paired up and then i can control my telescope with so i use sky safari you could use a laptop but i use my tablet android tablet between that laser sight and this i can control it from across the yard if somebody else wants to take a look i can steer them right to another star in the map it's really Really convenient. It's completely removable too. Um, aside from the DB9 connector, I glued it in. You could pry it out, but that kind of makes it easier to update the firmware. Even I can just use this Bluetooth adapter, pair it with my computer, and transfer firmware or control the telescope. So between those three mods, I'm really happy with the way the telescope turned out. It's a great telescope. It's perfect for beginners who don't know anything about astronomy makes it easy to locate everything. The only complaint I do have about it is deep space objects, faint objects, that it doesn't come through very well. This telescope's an F12, I believe, so it's not a fast scope. It makes for great planetary views, Moon, Saturn, but once you see all that, there's not a whole lot left to see as far as deep space objects go. I haven't had any luck. You can get a focal reducer and that's another $100 at least for that, so I haven't been too happy about getting one of them. I may down the line see if it can actually do deep space objects. Um, the binocular viewer I put on here I really like. It, it adds to, uh, from what I understand, it can make the objects even more faint because there's more glass lenses to go through. So that's kind of a negative about it, but I still really like it for the moon, Saturn, well, the bigger you know, objects in the sky. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to take a few minutes and show off all my mods. Um, let me know what you think.